Hey, show clients. And uh, I just want to demonstrate a couple things I like having in, in my scripts. Um, I don't have them in every one, but definitely in my testing ones. Um, you'll see often, let's see what I do. This this brings in my default settings. Um, I'm not going to go in there, but my two hot keys that are in there, I have for um, one is we'll launch the script, the second one will reload it. So instead of using my default settings, um, I'm going to just do an example here in, instead. So the um, right now the script, there obviously there's nothing in it. And, and, and first off, I, I think, I don't know why this isn't the default, but I love having single instance force and everything because I don't want to load multiple versions of a given script. But um, let's say I wanted to have a trigger so it launches. I have a button I can hit that's going to make the thing below it run. So um, that'll be whatever. Let's just say control T for lack of anything better. Uh, and here I'll say a message box. Hello world, right? Um, and, and for good measure, let's put in a return. All right, just good practice. So I'm going to save this, launch it. Now my little green H in the system icon down here, right? Um, I'm going to hit control T. That will throw this up there for me, right? That allows me to decide when I want to run it because I don't always want to have it running right away because uh, it often I want to be able to trigger it and not just have it run the second I do it. The other thing I don't like is um, if I have multiple things and it keeps going, I want to be able to just hit reload because I have this one in the beginning. It doesn't run my default. So let me add that one. And let's say, um, let's do control shift R. Uh, and that we're going to say is reload. So now I'm going to save this. And you know what? Let's put another message, a few more of the, uh, you know what? Let's just copy this one. Right? So hello world two, three, four, and one save. Reload it, run it, which is, um, I have it as alt R. I think that's the default. Control T, notice it's going to say hello world one. If I hit OK, it's going to go on, right? Control, uh, sorry, uh, hello world two, three. But what if I don't want to do that? So I just want to hit Control Shift R and notice it blanks it out. It reloads that script. You can see it. Watch when I hit Control Shift R down here, the system icon. Um, there it goes. You can see it, it kind of flash sometimes. It's pretty fast. Um, but it's reloaded the script for me. So that's, that's those are two that I just absolutely, I use them a little differently, but I use my browser back and browser forward because those are on my keyboard. They're next to my thumbs are super convenient. Uh, but the next two, I don't put in every one, but they are super, or I'm sorry, the next one, next one is a, a edit. So I'm going to say, let's do control shift E, control shift E. And I'm going to say edit. Now, the great thing about this one is let's say I'm, you know, I have a studio. Let's even close this, reload it. Oops, control shift R. I'm not used to that hotkey. So that, that'll take into effect. Um, I'm going to close this. That's the other reason why I like it is I can, I can hit that and it reloads it for me. Now, if I hit, what was it? Control shift E. It will open my default editor in that script. So especially if I had a lot of full, uh, different scripts. Um, open in studio or in whatever editor it opens it up in that script and that's one that's super handy where if you're working a lot and then you know wherever you put this that's the script it's going to go and default edit into right so um, these are the three that i i definitely um, the 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 reload and the launching of stuff i always have in almost everything and then that edit i have in my main one so if i hit Control alt e because that's a hotkey for my main one it'll pull up my main script and I, I jump right into it so of course you have to remember if you have different hotkeys for different scripts which one is going to open perhaps you uh use a numbering convention and Control alt one two three four to to pop open different scripts if you think you can remember that to me um i only use it in my main one because that's where i have a lot of thousands of lines of code and I want to get into it easily and I can hit a button and it pulls up the editor for me. Uh, it's especially helpful if you've hidden the system icon, right? Cause that's a, a pain when you want to edit that file. Um, and you don't want to have to go find it, right? If it's running and you want to edit it, you can just, you can have it hidden and it'll pop it open. You don't have to, um, I have this one. What is it? Control M? No, that, that's, oh, that's a studio thing. Let me click here. Control M. Yeah, that, that opens this one, which I've mentioned before, this master tray icon. This allows me to see all of my auto hotkey scripts and I can come in here and I can edit it or pause anything, regardless whether they're visible or not. So that's one that's on the forum. Let's see if I can, uh, open. I was hoping there was an about, but let's go to edit this script and here at the top. Um, oh, darn. I thought I had the path. I'll try to put it in the, uh, uh a shortcut to this in the, uh, uh, 
comments on this video. So anyway, just hope that helps. Um, it's, it's just baby steps, right? And we all do things differently. These I find invaluable. I highly recommend you get used to it. Once you get used to using a trigger to launch it, it takes a little bit of first because most people, you think you run it and it's something should happen, right? Um, I like to launch it and have it sitting there waiting for me to hit a button. Uh, once you get used to that, it's really helpful, but some people, it drives them nuts, but uh, it's just up to you. Cheers.